um, the organ is an instrument that I think is so unfairly under uh, represented, at least according to my experience within the compositional circles, because as a composer, especially as a young composer, you don't get to study uh, so um, thoroughly using for organ because it, it doesn't appear in the orchestral repertoire as a soloist, or it doesn't appear even that much in chamber repertoire. It's something that it's remains hidden um, together with a couple more of instruments. I think that they, they uh, conform this uh, tree, uh, this troika, uh, let's say, of uh, hidden instruments for composers, for composers that I would say it's the harp, the guitar and the organ. So uh, for me, I think that the mission of, of all this uh, experience, competition, marathon, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's wonderful in in uh, educating, spreading the, the 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 instrument that itself, connecting it with young composers with uh, fresh music, uh, connecting uh, composers with performers, and I hope a very long life uh, to this initiative uh, that I'm in love with. Uh, so thank you very much, and congratulations again to. Uh, the other composers that I can see here and uh, members of the organization. It's it's a big pleasure uh, to be here. Spasiva Bolshoi. Yeah. Matthias Hefeld, ja, jetzt wir können ja ein paar Wörter über dein Werk hören, aber du kannst auch auf Englisch sprechen, also in Ordnung. Oh, yes, sure. Um, thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for for having us today here and and for this for this whole event um, in general i think it's really really important to have to have such a thing as as mark already said um we have to to bring the organ like back to back to no, not back to life well it's it's of course alive <laughs> but it's it's uh, of course very underrepresented and i think it's it's in a niche Uh, which it doesn't deserve. Um, it's not just a church instrument and uh, something which is which is seen as as um, one instrument which is which is usually behind the orchestra and no one really knows what it does there uh, in a concert hall. But it's it's the queen of instruments, and um, so I'm very thankful for this for this competition that you give us a chance to to present these these works and i'm i'm blown away by the um by by the concerts which have already been been made uh, by all these great organists so um yeah just a few words about about my piece um i very much yeah dedicated to to uh making the organ popular and that's what I what I try with with my music to um, let it speak in another in another voice than than it's traditionally speaking uh, by adding something to the yeah to to the um, what do you say to the whole um, universe of organ music uh, which might sound like a mixture of of popular um electronic music and organ music so this is something i i tried with with this piece finale in, in especially with with the rhythms which is very electronic like i think and um yeah so actually is there there's not so much more to say to the piece <laughs> um just thank you so much for for doing all this
And uh, as a composer, what question do you have when your music is performed? Um, what, what I, you mean what I feel or what I? Yeah, you're feeling, I mean, uh, do you have some uh, maybe misunderstanding with interpretation of your works? or you're just happy that your music is uh, being performed, or you think, oh, it's, it's, it's not a good performance, but anyway. Well, in, in general, um, I, I think uh, two years ago, I was super strict about, about performances. Like, I feel like very tied up. But um, the more I, I listened to different performances of of my music, I, I learned that it's really something which um, is like a coexistence between composer and the person who interprets the piece or plays the piece, because it is the most interesting thing is if someone plays the piece and plays it in a little bit of a different way than you actually imagined. And, and I think that's the that's the most incredible thing uh, about the, the different different organists who played there. Everyone played it a little bit differently and I, I really enjoyed this a lot. So um, I, I never thought, oh, this is totally wrong or this is, this is something something which shouldn't be done. It's, it's just enjoyable to hear something which is different. Um, I think something which is still important for me is the, the tempo and rhythm. Um, I realized that in the in the organ scene, there's something like leaning towards um, rubato. If something is, um, yeah, it's it's not that common to like play at a certain at a certain speed, like a click track in in electronic music, and this is something I think is is maybe pretty important at at this certain piece. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so the next guest uh, I'd like to listen to Bruno Valle. Hello? Yeah. So tell us about you. Well, first of all, uh, good morning and good afternoon. Depends on the time zone. It's, uh, it's really great uh, to be here today. And thank you to the organizers, to the Ignacian Academy of Music, and to the organizers of Organ Taurida. It was really a pleasure to be part of this amazing project, I have to say. And it is so great to see uh, the colleagues composers here whose works I've been listening since the since the first concert, since the final of the of this competition. And I must say I was really surprised by such a high level and uh, so much creativity because uh, each work really showed something different, something new and um, it had very strong musical material, very strong ideas. And I think it's really the beauty of the contemporary music to show this diversity of styles, diversity of ideas, of, uh, of creative power. And all these works, I think, really have place in, 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 in new organ repertoire. And uh, I think it's really great that Lots of these pieces are now uh, be played on this marathon through many Russian cities, so the people could really hear them uh, directly in the concert halls, in the churches, wherever it is performed. And it is really, it is really amazing. Also, the broadcast, so the, the international public could hear it. I think it's fantastic project, brilliant project, and I am very grateful. Uh, to be part of it. Thankful to the jury, to the organizers and to the fellow composers. Um, I think the organ in contemporary music really can have very important place 
in the first place because of incredible uh, sound diversity. So organ can really uh, sound like you know, some, some whisper and you know have this tremendous power of sound that you you don't just you don't just feel it but you just listen to it hear it but you can really feel the vibrations and in the in the music today where everybody everything is exaggerated actually uh, i think it's great medium uh, to express all these kind of elements so i think this is you know maybe we are at the start of the new era for organ when organ actually will play much more important part in mainstream classical music contemporary music as as, as we like to say um so these are some of my thoughts and i must say that i was really surprised um, by the level uh, of the of the organ playing in Russia and by the fact that there is so many beautiful instruments and incredible performers. So I must congratulate um, to, to all of them and especially thankful to, to Lada and to Vladimir who performed so beautifully my music. Thank you very much to everybody. Yeah, thank you for being with us. Uh, do we want maybe uh, to try uh, organ music uh, to write some pieces for uh, historic instrument with another temperament like uh, Italian mintone organs or to write for the organ and fixed electronics some kind of uh, these compositions. Uh, well, as I live in Spain, I, I had uh, opportunity to play some historical organs, mm -hmm. uh, this Iberian type of organ, which is which is very interesting, and it has some special uh, special sounding. I must say, I've never uh, I've never composed a piece for for historical organ because I, I somehow think that it it belongs to the past, and uh, a lot of music from the past can be really uh, be apt for this kind of instruments but somehow in, in, in modern day I, I, I must personally say that I feel somehow limited maybe with this kind of instruments so maybe I, I rather prefer the, the, the modern concert organs but of course it's wonderful to to be able to produce the the, the sounds of the music that was written for this kind of instruments on historical instruments that's, that's very interesting. Yeah, because for for the composers, it's uh, just this. Uh, all composers have just the same idea um, as you have um, that the old instrument or historic instruments or mintone instruments they are not very suitable for uh, performances. But actually, if you uh, will listen to organ music uh, by uh, Franz Danzak Müller, uh, he used. Um, um, historic instruments a lot in his compositions and you know all this uh, kind of uh, not equal tones you can play with it and yeah. you can have some new ideas and it's it's really it, it's great if you will have uh, this kind of instruments like not in priority but some somewhere <laughs> yeah, because yeah. It's, it's really great you you shouldn't uh, write old uh, toccatas per elevazione or something like that you can really use modern language and half pulled stops so it's 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 really it's a big field and for spain where the most instruments are historic it's it, it's really big field yeah yeah well, it's, just, uh, it's, it's an, interesting it's interesting idea it's something to to think about really yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks thank you thank you so, so we have two more compositions, uh, compositors. Who uh, was? Alexander Chopa. Alexander Chopa. Are you here with us? Yes, yes I am here. Hello, everybody. 
Hello everybody, also hello to uh, laureates and uh, colleagues of this extraordinary uh, composition competition. Uh, this is also a great honor to participate in this, uh, I can say, gathering here. <laughs> uh, I would like to first of all uh, send the greetings uh, from Rome, which I am right now. Uh, and um, uh, and really, I, I this is really a great a privilege to attend to this extraordinary uh, composition uh, competition, which uh, it allows everybody to uh, share their own uh, organ works. Uh, especially, I wanted to even uh, try to uh, write uh, some, uh, something for organ. Uh, which uh, for me, uh, the instrument is uh, important, not just only for, as Mark had said it at the beginning, uh, that it needs to be also used uh, uh, in to, to the orchestra as a, as a solo instrument, uh, but it is also a, a uh, opportunity to even uh, create more, or should I say, promote more and more literature of this of this instrument. Uh, whether in whether you are writing, for example, a piece uh, based on uh, Gregorian chants, in this case the, the religion, uh, or or other 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 inspirations based, for example, of nature, and it can be this instrument can be also used not only uh, for the services of the liturgy, but also it can be used for, for using kind of an experiments. Uh, for example, uh, very rarely uh, there's, there are pieces, for example, using the electronics with, uh, with the organ. I, for example, uh, wanted to try uh, to write something for organ and tape, uh, which uh, it is it was very difficult uh, actually task to do something like this, uh, but but somehow somehow the the tape uh, that puts all, all together to uh, to this instrument gives a lot of more interesting sounds and the effects. Uh, so so this or the pipe organ is really something. Useful to 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 use to, to get the chance to create oh. something new. I am uh, this is really a funny, funny thing. I I I earlier started to when I was a kid. I started to, to play piano. Uh, later until like later when when I uh, decided to attend to junior high school, uh, I changed uh, the instrument from piano to organ. Uh, because the the instrument uh, started to somehow uh, be interesting for me, and I wanted to uh, discover uh, new pieces that I have never never heard before, nor ever played, uh, and somehow I didn't even expect that uh, starting to that that I started even composing for. for this piece, a piece for this instrument, which I love, I love it very much. Uh, and now I uh, would like to also help uh, to promote the Polish organ music, which is unfortunately uh, not very uh, known now. Now in the, in the present times, of course, we, there are many, many uh, past uh, composers, even during the Baroque times. Uh, uh, that they started to also uh, write something for this instrument. Uh, in the 19th or, or between the 19th and the 20th century, uh, there were, uh, I know, only two actually uh, composers who promote uh, uh, organ music. Uh, first one is uh, Felix Nowowiski, which he is uh, one of the uh, First Polish composers who write uh, who, who composed nine organ symphonies. This is really something. Um, 
this is really something uh, not quite uh, extraordinary in this case. I mean, we all know that uh, organ symphonies uh, come from France, especially from César Franck, which he was the, uh, the first who uh, wrote the piece uh for organ to imitate the sound of the, uh, the symphony orchestra uh then later uh charles marie vidor and louis vierne uh, came along and started to promote uh, to, to compose more more of the kind of uh this this form and and uh and also we just have who 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 wrote many many uh many uh, organ pieces especially uh, especially uh, the very famous improvisation about uh, uh, Santos Deus and this is a a psalm or a chant which is mostly uh, sung this, this is a polish uh, polish song that that that, uh, that is uh, uh, sang during for example uh, the great, the, the Good Friday, or even uh, hard times, for example, in this case uh, that we are in, in, the, in the times of the pandemic. But over, but overall, I wanted to be like the next, the next Polish composer to continue promote uh, the uh, uh, Polish organ music uh, that can be also uh, be spread out and and give a try to to other uh, composers, especially the young ones, to try uh, experiment in this uh, instrument. Oh, and before I, before I uh, forget, I would like to also uh, congratulate and thank uh, Vladimir Skomorogov, which is here right now with us, uh, uh, who take a challenge, took a challenge to uh, perform my piece uh, for almost the entire uh, Russia, and that's, and that's your country in this case. Uh, but but he but but really, I I admire his uh, his uh, performance, his uh, well, prom promoting uh, mine, and also also our colleagues' uh, music. Uh, and and I hope I really I really hope that that uh, we might see. Uh, each other in person very soon and hopefully to uh, give also this time my turn to to present uh, my pieces as 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 if as it is i the author of my of my compositions in this case the uh, the first toccata of my six toccatas yeah. thank you very much thanks so we wish you to uh, good luck with uh, promoting uh, polish organ music because it's it's uh, it has his uh, own uh, colors, his own um, yeah language and character. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So and uh, our guest from uh, Italy, uh, our guest from from Portugal, is with us. Yes, Gerson de Soso Batista. Yeah, are you here? We can we can hear you, unfortunately. Uh, can you please turn on your microphone? Uh, we can't hear you. Sorry. Sorry. Try one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me here? Yeah. Oh, it's sweet backing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to try to <laughs> speak from my cell phone. 
I don't know why the microphone is muted. I thought I thought you were muting the microphone, but it seems like not. So first of all, great, uh, greetings from Portugal. Uh, it's a pleasure to be to be here uh, in the middle of so many talented composers and organists. Mainly, I'm mesmerized by the quality of Vladimir performances. It's well insane. Um, so let me tell the story uh, how this composition happened and and why I composed it. Uh, I studied organ. It was my first instrument. And uh, recently, my uh, organ matter passed away. So I, I, I wrote a Magnificat for choir and organ. And two days after I finished that work, uh, I knew about the, this competition and uh, new organ Taurida, um, new classic. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm just writing for organ. I, I just remembered all the the mechanics and uh, uh, the registers, and I was I was into it, into the spirit of the organ composition. So I just took the the opportunity and and wrote a piece. So I thought about Russia. I I, re I read and saw um, a lot of the documentaries, and and I I really love the Tolstoy. Uh, story and uh, and what it means uh, what it means to Russia. So I thought of it, and one two days after that, I I, I thought I I realized I had to to write about it. So I thought of a dream dreamy song, and Tolstoy's dream came out, and that's <laughs> that's the story of the uh, of my work. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, you, you might be hearing me. Yeah, it's good. So if you want to have something, I don't know what, what I can have here. Sorry, could you repeat, repeat please? Repeat what? <laughs> Everything? <laughs> no, just... uh, so it's a pleasure to be here. I'm really mesmerized by the quality of Russian uh, music and Russian organ culture, and I'm very honored to be here present in the middle of such talent, com talented composers and the organist and Vladimir, it's great, and I feel very honored to be here. Do you have any any questions I might be I might answer? Yes, uh, there are questions. No, I guess we can thank you and yeah, wish you good luck on the composition field and for the composition field for the organ, especially. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. And the last but not least, we have the guest from uh, Italy. Hi. Uh, I am very happy to participate uh, this uh, this event. Uh, the first, I I must uh, thanks all the organization and uh, Nadia for uh, <laughs> for his uh, uh, professional uh, work. Uh, thanks. Uh, I think that uh, this uh, in uh, this opportunity in my life, in my composer life, uh, uh, had, has a, an important uh, uh, influence because uh, this uh, uh, this event uh, uh, um, can. Uh, uh, can uh, open my mind to to write uh, several pieces for organ. Uh, uh, after the, the concert of the final of the finalist composer, uh, I write uh, a new piece for uh, Timur, 
that uh, he, he plays uh, he plays uh, my preludio gregoriano and uh, I, I think that uh, uh, this is a a new a new uh, inizio <laughs> uh, a new beginning a new beginning thanks mark and uh, i'm sorry for my bad english <laughs> But I'm Italian, and so. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> Fortunately, music is uh, uh, an international language. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was it your first experience for uh, composing for organ? Uh, my first experience was a uh, 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 fuga, a uh, toccata fuga, then that I wrote uh, when I was. Uh, uh, 17 years old mm -hmm. because uh, contrapunto uh, was my first love with music mm -hmm. uh, and i love contrapunto uh, but in this piece that uh, i present at uh, this uh, this event uh, i try to to uh, to to go uh, in a new street una nuova strada Uh, uh, and uh, I am happy that this uh, experiment uh, brought to me a, a great, uh, this great uh, result. Yeah, thank you. So you will you definitely, definitely do it one more time for the competition. Uh, you will both something. Excuse me? Are you going uh, to take part um, in the next competition? Yes. I'm I'm working a new piece, and I hope uh, to to win. <laughs> oh, thank you. But but I think that uh, there are uh, very very young composers that uh, are uh, uh, great musician that uh, such as uh, this. Uh, This event, I I have the opportunity to hear the several composers from the world that uh, was a very very uh, interesting uh, musician, uh, and so thanks to all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Я только хотела добавить, что э, наш конкурс, в связи с тем, что это абсолютно новый э, такой проект, в которого действительно в комплексе, в э, таком, как это сейчас происходит, еще не было. Э, мы открыты абсолютно к сотрудничеству. Э, я очень рада была познакомиться с деятельностью замечательной кафедры. Э, с удовольствием увидела много лиц э, тех, кто сегодня в зале, Uh, вот здесь в буклетах, uh, где информация о, ваших, uh, кон о вашей концертной деятельности, о ваших фестивалях, uh, проходящих в uh, Гиды Академии. И мы uh, абсолютно, еще раз повторяю, открыты к сотрудничеству. Uh, наши электронные почты, наши соцсети, они доступны. Мы отвечаем всем. Нам пишут из регионов. Мы отправляем ноты и материалы по этому проекту э, органистам по первому же их требованию. А, и самое главное, действительно, то, что композиторы э, э, готовы работать с исполнителями и доводить э, вот эти произведения, рожденные на конкурсе, э, доводить их, скажем, до совершенства. И они прислушиваются к мнению исполнителей и вносят коррективы. И поэтому у нас не вышел сборник в ноябре и в декабре, но он обязательно выйдет в феврале. Мы вот сейчас собираем как раз последние пожелания о улучшении музыкальных произведений. И мы очень бы хотели следующий конкурс провести в еще более тесной работе именно с органистами, потому что все, что пишется, все, что делается, не может существовать без исполнения, без того, что каждый из вас вкладывает свое сердце, свое мастерство и дарит в итоге эту новую органную музыку слушателям. 
Поэтому еще раз призываю обменяться контактами. Мы ждем ваши предложения точно так же, как и предложения по в общем развитию самой идеи, развитию конкурса. Мы с радостью будем сотрудничать и с радостью готовы сотрудничать и наши молодые авторы, как российские, представленные сегодня здесь, и также иностранные авторы, которые находятся с нами онлайн. И последнее. В связи с тем, что пришла пятая волна, возможно, будет еще какая-то, мы предлагаем как можно больше проектов делать онлайн, и делать их совместно, и делать в рамках нашего конкурса и марафона концертные программы, в которых бы соучаствовали разные страны. Проба пера у нас уже была, делал вот Владимир Маглашвили и Владимир Скоморохов прямые включения из Германии. У нас 28-го будет замечательный концерт из Беларуси, из города Витебск и так далее. Мы открыты к сотрудничеству, готовы к взаимодействию и предлагаем вот самые современные форматы, в том числе онлайн, международные концертные составные такие гала-концерты, тоже помогать проводить. Маленькая ремарка на нашем инстаграме Арган Таврида на сегодняшний момент уже 1600 подписчиков. Это профессиональное сообщество со всей нашей планеты. От Австралии до не знаю, Северной Америки, Южной Америки. Это органисты, это концертные органные залы, это композиторы, которые пишут для органов. И все, в общем-то, хотят тоже продолжение проекта, всем интересна эта идея, и вместе, я думаю, мы еще больших каких-то результатов сможем достигнуть. Очень надеюсь, что и первый наш опыт будет полезен, в том числе и органистам-исполнителям. Мне хотелось бы добавить к сказанному, что Кафедра органа и клавесина Российской Академии Музыки имени Гнесиных, естественно, заинтересованы в этом сотрудничестве, заинтересованы в том, чтобы новые сочинения для органа появлялись и чтобы они исполнялись. И у меня возникла прямо сразу здесь мысль о том, что вот, может быть, мы предложим организаторам этого композиторского конкурса Исполнение одного из произведений, которые будут написаны к следующему конкурсу. Новая классика Таврида, да? Mm -hmm. Так называется наш конкурс. Исполнение одного из произведений, одного из победителей этого конкурса в качестве обязательной пьесы на нашем традиционном конкурсе имени Владимира Федоровича Адоевского, который у нас проходит каждые два года. У нас уже в, этом, в рамках этого конкурса исполнялась современная музыка. Именно некие такие обязательные были требования по исполнению произведений, которые не были никому известны, не были до этого исполнены. Вот, в частности, на последнем конкурсе это была пьеса Алексея Ларина, медицинского композитора. Я думаю, что мы могли бы предложить э, вот такую форму сотрудничества, взаимодействия, когда э, одно из произведений, э, одного из призеров э, композиторского конкурса было бы включено в программу органного конкурса и исполнено в рамках этого конкурса его участниками. Но здесь следует сказать еще об одной вещи. Дело в том, что... Э, Обычно органная музыка возникала как результат деятельности тех или иных композиторов, именно как исполнителей на органе. Это было во времена Иоганна Себастьяна Баха, это было в XIX веке, во времена Франка. И, в общем, это и в XX веке довольно распространенное явление, когда... Люди, которые играют на органе и пишут музыку, они создают композиции для того, чтобы исполнять их и исполнять их именно на тех инструментах, на которых они постоянно играют, в тех соборах, где они 
по долгу службы выступает еженедельно. И это говорит нам о том, что все-таки музыка органная, она всегда очень тесно связана с конкретным инструментарием. И вот когда я слышал сегодняшние произведения, которые были исполнены, то в основном это были произведения, которые написаны для некого универсального инструмента, универсального органа, которые, ну, наверное, исполнимы на многих современных инструментах, но далеко не на всех инструментах удачно будут звучать, которые существуют в этом мире поскольку все-таки значительная часть органного инструментария это инструментарий исторический, созданный в определенные эпохи под влиянием определенных стилевых приоритетов, под влиянием традиций национальных органных школ в разных странах. И, может быть, было бы интересно организаторам конкурса учесть этот фактор и создавая требования для последующих конкурсов предложить композиторам, чтобы они писали, может быть, не только произведения для некого универсального органа сегодняшнего дня, но и для инструментов, которые ну, в какой-то степени может, копируют черты исторических инструментов или просто являются историческим инструментом. Вот в частности, если говорить о пьесе для конкурса имени Владимира Федоровича Адоевского, то вот та программа, которая включает эту репертуарную часть, она у нас проходит всегда на небольшом, относительно небольшом органе современной орган строительной компании «Ригер», австрийской орган строительной компании, в школе имени Стравинского. И там мы имеем относительно небольшой, инструмент двух мануальный, на котором не всякая музыка будет хорошо звучать. Поэтому, учитывая вот эти факторы, может быть, стоит развить идею конкурса и сделать ее, естественно, и более профессиональной, и более интересной и для композиторов, которые таким образом будут лучше узнавать органы инструментарий, и орган не как совокупность инструментов, которые существуют на протяжении уже более двух тысяч лет, а как, так сказать, некий конгломерат э, э, стилей и, э, так сказать, э, с учетом э, именно тех э, требований, которые предъявят организаторы конкурса, э, создавая музыку для э, инструментов определенного стилевого направления. Вот это мое предложение. Прекрасно. Спасибо. Будем сотрудничать. Uh, thanks to everyone, everyone for participation, and we are saying goodbye to everybody. Yeah, and so our uh session is closing now and in february we will have a pretty uh, uh huge uh, yeah conversation about uh, our organ music with our composition department and so everybody are welcome and good luck and thank you very much for staying with us and, and goodbye yeah So we are waiting for you. Mm -hmm. See you soon. See you soon. Ну вот школа строительства. Это вот там, да? Да, да. Ничего себе, даже не понимаю, что там такое помещение. У них вообще три органа. Ничего себе. Это один из них. Живу рядом, я почему-то ни разу не заходил. Ладно. Очень рад познакомиться. И... Ну вот я привожу действительно студентов, обычно где-то ближе к маю, когда мы доходим.